Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Star Trek Picard. Now this is just going to be a little quick and dirty review. No spoilers, no great detail. Just want to get my opinion out there. You may remember I made a video about season one, which I hated. And then season two came out and I didn't even bother making a video about that because it sucked so bad. But now we have season three. And it seems like some things have changed. Gone is the boring three minute intro sequence with the 21 producers lined up. Now bear in mind at this point only one episode is available for viewing. So they could still screw this up, but I don't know at the time of this recording. But it feels like they've changed the tone a little bit and they're putting in an effort to make it more character driven. Now this is still a modern production, so I'm sure they'll throw in their fair share of action as well. But that's fine. If the action is driven by the characters and is not just there to jingle keys in front of a toddler and hey look at cool explosions, then I have no problem with it. They're using the first five minutes to set up a compelling mystery involving Beverly Crusher. And after that, we go back to Earth and Jean-Luc Picard and the story's off to the races, right? Nice and simple. Now, I'm not going to spoil it for you. This is a spoiler-free review and a lazy one at that. So let's start by talking about what I liked about the episode. First of all, the characters felt more real this time. Picard felt a little bit more like Picard and Riker felt more like Riker, you know? I also really liked the ship. There's a new ship which looks really great and we get a really nice reveal scene that reminds me of Star Trek The Motion Picture. So kudos for that. Furthermore, there is a new character, a starship captain who is sort of a lovable jerk. He reminded me of Captain Jellico from TNG. Really liked his performance. And of course the visual effects look great, but of course this is a very expensive series so of course it's going to look good. And as far as things I disliked about it, there's not a whole lot. I'm not a fan of the character Raffi. She's not in there too much, but they shoehorn her into some sort of Blade Runner 2049 world, which seems completely incongruous with anything in Star Trek. You know, the kind of place where there's just drug dealers and pimps and everything looks run down, right? Not a huge gripe, but that's one thing I didn't like. And then I have a nitpick more than a dislike, which is what is it with Star Trek and the color red? In this episode, they're looking for someone called the Red Lady. And in Discovery, they have the Red Angel. And in Star Trek to Star Trek, they had Red Matter. Red Lady, Red Angel, Red Matter. Hmm. Like I said, it's just a nitpick, but it's weird. Maybe come up with a new color. Anyway, I don't want to talk this thing to death, but I think you should see it. This episode is good. I'm sure they'll find a way in subsequent episodes to screw it up, but for now, this one is pretty good. I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Now, I can hear you out there. You're going, oh, Undoomed likes a new Star Trek episode? Surely hell must have frozen over. Well, I believe in giving credit where credit is due, and if they're actually improving the stuff that we've been complaining about, then we should give credit for that. Now all that remains to be seen is if they can keep this up over the next episodes. Anyway, I think that's it for this little quick and dirty review. So, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.